Hello, my name is Willow and I'm a photographer for the Jorvik Sales Barn and Golden Leaf Stables. Thought I would take you guys through a bit of my day and finally explain to you how I got my horse Peachy. In my normal day at work, I basically just go in the stables, take pictures of the horses that are for sale so they can be put into ads for them to be sold. So basically, I'm just running around all day taking pictures of different horses and riders. It can be a lot of work at times, but as you can see by some of the photos I'm putting up, it is well worth it. I'm really lucky to be able to see all these different horses at my work. I get a lot of opportunities to see lots of new horses and riders and different breeds and before I had Peach, she really made me want a horse of my own and I'm so happy that I finally have her. I mainly work directly for Golden Lee Stables for their sales barn, but I also have a bunch of different private clients that I work for too, mainly trainers that are trying to make sales ads for their horses. After a long day of running around, taking pictures of horses, talking to clients, and getting all my work done, I head home to my house in Cape West, where I live in by myself in this small little house that I rent. Constantly hoping for the day I might be able to get my own horse. On one eventful day, I got a call from one of my clients, the head trainer at the Silver Glade Equestrian Center. He called asking me if I would take some pictures of some horses he has competing that day. It was already really late in the day and I wasn't quite sure why he was calling me, but I agreed. I pack my stuff, head over there, go to the jumping arena where he has a couple of horses jumping in the last few classes. Really enjoyed taking pictures of everybody. When I was done, I went up to the stands where he was and we watched the last little bit of the horses going around. And that is when I saw her. <laughs> Peachy was a six-year-old off-the-track thoroughbred mare. She was being ridden as a eventing prospect, but she was still very, very, very green. Um, my tr Rainer noticed right away that I looked very interested in her and decided to look into her more and became interested in her himself. Um, we watched her going around and we could tell she was really nervous. She was really a little too green to be working here, but, you know. <laughs> Every horse needs sold, right? She spooked at a few things and bolted a little, but all in all, she was a really nice horse. My trainer was really impressed with her. The rider was doing a pretty good job of staying on her and controlling her, but I mean, things happen. My trainer ended up really taking a liking to her and decided that he was going to buy her that day and use her as a prospect horse. The fact that I was going to be around Peachy really brightened my heart because I knew I was going to be able to see her and be around her and take pictures of her all the time. So I wasn't really that disappointed, especially since I knew I do not have the money for a horse right now, but still the fact that I wasn't the one buying her kind of hurt a little bit. Over the next couple of months, I was lucky enough to watch the, the Silver Grade Equestrian Center's trainer's assistant take care of Peachy. Um, since she was a project horse, kind of like a turnaround and sell, he wasn't the main one to deal with her as he had other competition horses to take care of. But as I went about my day, day working, taking pictures of the other sale horses and competition horses and everything like that, I would see them every once in a while being trained and having her see her take her around it was really nice being able to see her improve and get better she took peachy to a small show that i was the photographer for as well and i got to see her there and she did really good she really was almost like a different horse after a couple of months she just needed some solid training and a daily schedule and she really blossomed i think they had her training for to be an eventing horse, I believe, because that's the main discipline that they do. Um, she was really skittish though, so I'm not sure if eventing 
really was the best idea, but I understand they have a limited barn, so they're not able to do everything the best that they probably could have somewhere else. <clears throat> the main place you need to work on was around other horses, I noticed. At the show, whenever she was around a large group, she would get really skittish and hyper and feel like bolting. But on the little lessons that I saw her take her on by herself, she seemed to do pretty well. I really enjoyed seeing her at the show. It had been a, about four months since she had been sold. About two months after that, I was at a jumping show and I got to see Peachy being schooled there. I don't believe she was entered into any classes, but she was just there being schooled and to learn. It was really nice seeing the assistant take her around and show her everything. She actually had a really nice natural jump, which I was pretty surprised about. I wasn't expecting that from her. She had really nice movement, a nice natural jump. She jumped naturally pretty high like she was very careful she had a few refusals here and there but nothing major usually just when it seemed like she was scared of the jump which I mean is understandable it was around this time that I had come to the decision that I was ready to get a horse of my own so I'm now on a search to try and find a horse for me to ride. My first horse that I tried was this beautiful black Frisian mare named Hazel. She was the biggest horse I had ever ridden and to be honest I was a little nervous but she ended up being a nice horse. She was a dressage trained horse so she had lots of fancy movements and lots of buttons I came to notice. And she had really, really strong forward gates, and it kind of made me feel a little like, oh god, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm not, like, she was a little, just a little too much horse for me, I think. <laughs> Other than this, though, she was a nice horse, I just didn't really think she was the one for me. So after trying her around, I started looking around some more. Um, Golden Leaf Stables had a lot of horses to offer, so I was just going to wait and see what came up. The next horse that I found was a quarter horse gelding named Cowboy. He was a stock horse bred all around horse, meaning that he had done Western and English events. Since I was an English rider, I decided to try him out in English tack, in an English way of going uh, he, again, he was another really nice horse, but he was almost the exact opposite of Hazel. <laughs> he was very slow moving, very much a pleasure style horse, which just wasn't really what I was looking for. Um, I'm really looking to get into the hunter ring and maybe try a bit of jumping and eventing. So this guy just didn't really have in him. His movements weren't quite what I was looking for, and I don't believe he knew how to jump. He, or at least, I mean, he hadn't been trained to jump anyway. So I quickly moved on from him well, and decided that he was not going to be the horse for me. About this time, um, Peachy came up for sale again, and uh, I have a previous video about how I found her and how I decided to try her out. After I tried her out, I decided she was the horse for me, and I was really excited to have her. And I mean, here we are today. So that's the story about how I met Peachy, and thank you for watching.